What's going on fellas and welcome back to another episode of our Alaskan Golden Eagles Dynasty on the channel. Today we are taking on Miami, but not the popular Sean Taylor Miami. We are taking on Miami of Ohio. We are one to know, they are one to know. It is also our home opener, so Kyle Arnold, alongside our other athletes and players who have joined, get their home opener. They get to play in Alaska, mate, for the first time. Hopefully the crowd is behind them and we can see a big scoring game. Before we enter the harder part of our schedule and conference play on top of that. Now I know you guys are all set on recruiting, but unfortunately I don't really have much to show you. We're really early into the new season. I'm slowly trying to, you know, crack onto these five-star, four-star athletes who really have no interest in signing with Alaska, but prefer to go to much more desirable places. You'll also notice when you go down here to like Clifford Jean, we do have the lead on some people. So we are actively signing talent. It's just, I really want to get some of the better guys. This guy's got to go. Thad Woodard, 43 overall, mate. Get off the squad. As we go on throughout the season, I'm sure I will find some high quality talent that isn't being pursued. And that's when we can swoop in, no pun intended, and get some good players. Checking out our schedule. We beat Hawaii. That was a good game. We versed Miami of Ohio. Next week, we have a bye week. Before we jump into the hardest two games on our entire schedule, being Virginia Tech and Oregon, mate. By week five, we're no doubt going to be two and two, but we're going to give it our best shot. Speaking of which, what overall is Miami of Ohio? 84. Okay, so they're exactly like Hawaii. So we should have another good game on our hands. That being said, fellas, I'm ready to jump into it. Without further ado, let's get it. Oh yes, their best player is injured. <laughs> I don't wish injury on nobody, but in this particular circumstance, it worked out well for us. Get it boys, come on, big game. First home opener, we have to come out the gate swinging. We're not gonna accept anything less than a big dub here. Let's go straight through the gap. Lennon, mate, he's got the gap. That is our best return in school history right there. 48 yards off the bat, he's happy with himself. Are they playing man coverage here? I really hope they are. But Oh, right in the gap! Now that their guard's down, let's swing it out to Kaz Cray, see if he can get open on the left side. No, that failed terribly. Jeez, mate. Those tosses do not work for us. We gotta go straight through the middle or don't run the ball at all. Dot in the corner. Copeland again making plays! Corner route cheese, that's too easy. Rivero, ooh, get helicoptered, defender. Oh, there we go. Look at the blockage, mate. You know, I'm actually going to uh, pass it here. They won't be expecting it, right? But, oh, shit. Oh, he's wide open. Cash in the corner. Let's go, baby. He faked everybody out, mate. He even faked me out. Of course the computer would miss the PAT, but worse things have happened. Redberger, get your ass out here, mate. You're defending the hard flat, not on the other side of the field. Oh, he's wide open. All right, let's jump on Dubai then. Let's put in a little bit of work with Dubai. NCAA tackle leader last year. Gonna go to your running back, no chance, mate. Our linebacking core is so savage, bro. Our linebacking core puts in so much work for what their overall is. It's incredible. Get there, Oligario. Don't let the squad down. Oh. Wow, he's just going to run straight around everybody. Another third down. Let's get the stop, boys. Come on. Get there. Let's go. Oh, pick it up. Let's go, baby. Oligario is a god, mate. He railed that running back, bro. <laughs> Boom! Nails him! And of course, Dubois is on the fumble recovery. Alright, we got crossing slants here. Hopefully, they don't run into each other. Wide open. Let's go, Rivero. Putting that speed to good use. The best part about it is, I haven't needed to put conservative catch on, which is a normally a major issue for this Alaska team. Monsos on the corner route. We're going to take circle. Fake the handoff. There we go. Kaz Cray is wide open. Why is nobody on this man? Oh, he didn't get that? Come on, my guy. He looked like he was in the end zone. All right, let's keep this train wreck moving. Who else to call on but the one-yard man, the specialist himself? Cash Conovan, mate. Two touchdowns on the day for the fullback. I'm on that slant. Don't throw that. I'm on that. He gets sacked. Who hit him? Who's 91? Tim O'Neill. Three men couldn't hold him back. What an animal. Technically, two of them didn't even try. Jump back on Spence Jones, the cornerback. Get a little bit of speed. Get a little speed in the box right here. 
Getting tricky with it. Going to the screenplay. He's got nowhere to go. This is going to be a blowout, isn't it? I can already see it. We're yet to have a breakaway touchdown, like rushing the ball. It's because we don't have the speed, but still. Yeah, and, and that happens as well. Blitzes come in. We have no defense against blitzes. Nothing whatsoever. Oh, oh. Get a Dubois. Gonna run it. No chance, mate. This Alonzo Smith is not having a good game. Jump in the cover four. We will press as well, though pressing is definitely not our strength. Just get the pick. Just get the pick, pick, pick. Dumb decision. Come on. Come on, mate. Field goal. It's ridiculous how big of a difference the team is now compared to last year. It's not even close, mate. Like, look at look at the decisions they're forced to make because the coverage is awesome. Yikes. Now, let's get back to this read option. We start off the drive in fantastic field position, literally on the Golden Eagle itself. Hand it off to Kaz. He's straight through the middle. Juke move. That's an easy eight yards. I would be more than content coming out and taking a field goal this drive. We don't need anything fancy. Let's just come out here, get the job done, and save our energy for next week when we're really going to need it. That got him so bad. Wow. Our oh, one is wide open across the middle. That is Rivero again. Who can stop Sean Rivero? Bengus is isolated on the outside. You see that? One on one. The out route cheese. Let's go, Bengus. Second reception of the year. It's a touchdown. Wait, now that we're in this situation, let's just, let's go to work, boys. Let's get this ball back and score again, man. Let's just dominate him straight up. Can't fool me. Come on. Hit him. Safety. There we go. He already fumbled the ball once. He's still he's not second guessing running at our defense. I'll tell you that much. Gonna line his ass up. Oh. Morales just let the pure frustration out. Oh, let's go, baby! Let's go, Ramberger! Don't get caught, my guy! We got this in the bag. Pick six. Come on, son. Let's go! Yes! Let's go! Shake it off, Crow. We didn't need a pick six, did we? No. I only average one user interception an entire year, and it happens to be a pick six this year. But... Oh shit, circle was wide open, bro. But... Dot, that's our running back. Is there anybody out there watching this video that goes for Miami of Ohio? I'm just curious. I've never seen anybody really mention them on the channel before. I... I'm just curious. I want to know if there's any Miami of Ohio fans out there. Let's go big play Monsos. Oh, the backup. Omar Washington. All right, I see you, my guy. Hancock. Never seen you before, bro. Because I haven't seen you, I don't trust you. So I'm going to go to uh, big play Monsos here. That's an easy walk-in touchdown, mate. Show us something, Ohio. Come on. Because we got the dub in the bag, there's no point not bringing in our backup quarterback, man. I haven't forgotten about Matthew Ryan, mate. See if we can get another pick six on defense, yeah? Does Miami know? Are they going to pass the ball here? They go the bitch route. Bitch route again. They've got nowhere to go. Oh, Oligario. Where are we going? Oh, that's a pick. This quarterback is throwing his Stevie Wonders right now. One of these got to be a pick. He's throwing it straight away. That defensive line, mate. Cheeky bastards are going for it on fourth down, too. You've got nothing for us, mate. Pitch, really? <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Matthew Ryan checking back into the game, mate. You didn't think you'd be back out here, did you? But Crow's got you back, mate. Let's go, Monsos. Big play, Monsos. Let's go. Slide, baby. You're not Carl Arnold. Matthew Ryan's signature play, the curls. We got Copeland and Khan. We've never seen a Matthew Ryan to Copeland pass before. And there it is. Oh, nobody's open. Circle is! So he doesn't have the arm strength. I don't like this play. We'll run the same play again, why not? Who cares? 
I... Nobody wants... That play does not work for us at all, mate. Fourth and goal. This is looking like an easy touchdown to Kaz Cray. Matthew Ryan, I tried, mate. We couldn't get you a touchdown. But you know what? You did a damn good job out there on that drive. All right, fellas, checking out the stats on the day. Kyle Arnold with a 230.2 passer rating. Three touchdowns, 81% passing, 166 yards. Matthew Ryan checking in in the fourth quarter. Our good old quarterback from last year. 115.8 passer rating, 47 yards. 50% average, so he's doing his thing out there, no doubt. Rushing into things, Kaz Gray, seven attempts for 34 yards. I feel bad. I got to get you more involved in upcoming weeks, man. You have so much potential, but right now, I'm letting it go to waste. But I got you, though. Cash Conovan had a massive day. One attempt at rushing, he had one yard and a touchdown. And then you go to the receiving end, he had one reception for four yards and a touchdown as well. Trevor Monsor is four for 51, Copeland four for 41, Rivero three for 46, Bengus Khan two for 26 and a touchdown, and Kaz Gray two for 45. Blocking Conovan had a pancake and Austin led our left guard, led in a sack, mate. What is going on there? Who's surprised? Dubois was six total tackles on the day. All of them were solo, by the way. Damian Miller was six and a TFL. Brian Frisk had three solo tackles, two of them being TFLs. Good job, bro. Spence Jones, four tackles. Morales with four. Morales lit some people up today. Oligario had two, a TFL. Who had the force fumble, though? Oligario also had the force fumble lighting people up out there. I'm sorry, Redberger. You did get the interception. It was a pick six, but unfortunately, it's getting ruled as a one-yard interception. Tim O'Neill also had two TFLs. Dickerson had a TFL. Look at this, mate. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight TFLs on the day. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a successful game from your Alaska Golden Eagles. That being said, fellas, we got a massive game next week taking on Virginia Tech and then Oregon the week after that. But if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your days all Awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake. Cause I don't fucking care. You've been out all night. I don't know where you've been. You're staring all your